what are the top CD rates out there right now? That's what we'll be talking about in today's video. There are six on our list. Many thanks to all the super savers and members in our community who helped pull this list together. As always, we couldn't have done this without you. So here's our front of video disclaimer. For a detailed disclaimer, please refer to the end of this video. Most of you know that we have a general preference for U.S. Treasuries over CDs because one, Treasuries currently pay very attractive rates given their lack of credit risk. Here's what the different maturities were trading at at the time of this taping. Two, the interest earned on Treasuries is exempt from state and local income taxes unlike the interest earned on CDs, which are fully taxable on a federal, state, and local level. But we live in an area with very high state and local income taxes, so you may have a different perspective depending on where you live. So let's see what this list of top CD rates looks like. This column on the left shows the name of the bank and or credit union. All of them are insured by either the FDIC or the FDIC equivalent for credit unions, the NCUA. This column shows whether the bank is a GSIB or not. For those of you who are new to GSIBs, GSIBs are global systemically important banks, some of the largest and most influential banks out there, and what we personally consider to be among the safest banks in the world. I've linked this GSIBs 101 video in the description below for those of you who want more details. The NAs that you see here are because these two are credit unions. GSIP status is only applicable to banks, not credit unions. This column shows the annualized rate on the CD from highest to lowest. And by the way, all of these rates are higher than their T-bill equivalent, a point that we may want to revisit in another video. This column shows the term of the CD. We limited the list to CDs with terms between 6 and 12 months because that's what most of you were asking about. If you're interested in a similar video for CDs with longer maturities, drop us a comment below so that we can gauge interest levels. This column shows the minimum balance required to open up a CD. And this last column has some additional notes that you should consider. Let's take Old Point National Bank CD offer, which is the one with the best rate on this list. To purchase this CD, you need to either go to an Old Point National Bank branch, which all seem to be around Norfolk, Virginia, or you can try to call them. This is the phone number that they gave on their website to call. If anyone has any luck getting the CD offer with them over the phone, do come back and leave us a comment below to let us know how it went. These two CD offers are available only to credit union members. For the one from Utah Power Credit Union, it appears from their website that you also need to either go to a branch or call them. Whereas the one from Nassau Federal Credit Union appears to be available for purchase online if you already have an account with them. This Santander CD offer also requires that you go to a branch. Plus, it's not available nationwide, only for specific zip codes it seems. You can go to their website and put in your zip code here and you'll be able to see what rates, if any, are available in your area. This JP Morgan Chase one is a brokered CD, meaning that it's only available for purchase from a brokerage company. You cannot buy the CD directly from JP Morgan Chase. At the time of this taping, we were only able to find it on Fidelity and Vanguard. Also, it's callable, meaning that JP Morgan Chase can call the CD and repay the principal early to you if and or when interest rates fall. And you might end up being stuck with a chunk of money that you'll then have to figure out how to reinvest in a lower interest rate environment. This is what's known in the industry as reinvestment risk. If you're a super, super saver member already, be sure you haven't missed this latest video on reinvestment risk and the other types of risks associated with bond investing as well as some high-level risk mitigation strategies available to fixed income investors. So back to this list, all the CDs here, other than the JP Morgan Chase one, are normal bank CDs, meaning you can purchase them directly from the financial institution that's offering them, and also that the interest rate on them does not change during the lifetime of the CD. They are also not callable, 
meaning the bank or credit union cannot force you to take an early repayment. However, they do come with early withdrawal penalties as customary with bank CDs like these. And this last one here from CFG Bank, you can open it relatively easily online, but you may be required to submit additional documentation, such as a copy of your driver's license or passport. So it may take a few extra days of processing time. Now, there are a few things to keep in mind about the list of top CD rates that we just shared with you. One, we haven't purchased any of these CDs given what I told you earlier about our preference for U.S. Treasuries. If any of you have, or if you bank with any of these financial institutions and have feedback to share, whether negative or positive, or if you have other great CD rates you've seen, do drop a comment below and let me and the other super savers know. Also leave a comment if there's a particular CD offer or financial institution on the list that you'd like us to dive deeper into. We'll see what we can pull together if there's enough interest. Two, all the information on this list is accurate at the time of this taping, but CD rates can change rather quickly in the current environment. So, three, always do your own due diligence if there is a particular offer that interests you. Read the fine print to make sure that you fully understand any additional conditions that may apply. For example, one, to get the quoted rate, you typically cannot withdraw any of the accumulated interest before maturity. Two, most CDs automatically renew at the end of their term. Be sure you know how to turn off this renewal option. And three, there may be new money requirements or maximum contribution limitations. As usual, I've included all the relevant sources in the description below. All right, Super Saver, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and, and be sure to check out our latest members only videos if you want to dive deeper into the world of fixed income investments with like-minded individuals. There are fixed income investments with higher returns than CDs, but with higher return also typically comes higher risk. So it's important to understand what your risk return profile is so that you can make the most of your money. Click on this join button on our channel page or the join link in the video description below for more details. See you again very soon with more brand new wealth building content for your financial journey.